Thanks for stopping by. I'm Phil Call, host of the Radicals podcast, joined by my good friends Noah Rademacher. Hey there. And Jake Burns. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We got a great show for you today. Uh, we're going to be talking about candies. Uh, when we were putting the sh- uh, show doc together, we realized there's too many good chocolate and candies out there, so we figured break them up into two days. We'll have one day where we do chocolate and one day where we do candies. So, Phil, are we going to be doing uh, chocolate this week and candies next week? Is that, is that what you're getting at? We are going to be doing chocolates right now and then candies at some point in the future, okay. depending on okay, what we okay. feel like. Good to know. Good to know. I picked chocolate first because chocolate tastes better, in my opinion. Yeah, mine too. Uh, you know, I'm not big into baked sweets or sweets in general. Uh, if I am going to have candy, it's probably going to be chocolate. Uh, but you know, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting up there in age. So I, I just really try to limit my sugar cause I'm just kind of riding out these residual abs while I can. Ready for that hard candy phase of your life. Uh, Chuck's let's see. cool. <laughs> All right. So before we get into the discussion, uh, please hit the like and subscribe buttons on whatever uh, podcast tool you, uh, use to listen. Um, and also you can follow us on Twitter, the show's Twitter is uh, the Radicals. Uh, we got Jake Burns at BurnsyJ82, and I'm at Radical Phil. Uh, and finally, you can keep the lights and show running by contributing to our Patreon. You'll find the link in the description and a little more on us. All right, so Noah, which chocolate bars are you picking up on the way out of the store? Uh, so like I spoke to a little bit earlier, uh, I really try not to eat unhealthy because I've been... Uh, less physically active since i uh got into my late 20s uh you know i i really enjoy certain things and uh you know it, it could be like beer or uh more more savory foods instead of the sweet foods so i know i can't have both and still uh maintain this beautiful physique so you know sacrifices have to be made so you you don't eat chocolate is what you're saying, question mark? Yes. Then we're just going to have to ask you to leave. <laughs> All right, I left, but also... Did I... Thanks for staying, Noah. We're actually going to need you for the brackets. It's really hard to do one-on-one for those. Jake, what kind of chocolate bars are you picking up on your way out the store? Only the greatest and best new chocolate protein bar. <laughs> God, you guys suck. I'm grabbing a take five. <laughs> I'm actually a sucker for peanut M and M's. If we're counting those as chocolate, they are. This is that that you'll see in the bracket. Those count. Uh, yeah. Let's see. I have so, a soft spot for them. So let's see. If you guys are hosting trick or treaters at all as you get older, do you have a preference in what kind of uh, chocolate you would give out for Halloween? What makes you think we have to give out chocolate? Okay, you know what? Just it's the it's the show's topic, so we're giving out chocolate in this case. So in this case, you know, if you give them a Kit Kat bar, they can always share it with their friends. You know, if, while they're making trades with their candy, they can be like, you know what? I'll give you half a Kit Kat bar. Easy but, to break in half. Easy to break are, in three are you fourths. Giving out the big candies? Are you the house that's giving out the the full size candy bars? Because I mean, any more? The, I I did trick or treat this year. We the mini sized ones were just like one stick. You can't share that. That's lame. But you can. Give them a break. They're Jake. so breakable, <laughs> you know? Even the the one stickers, you can definitely break it in half pretty easily. Wait, uh, chocolate test real or chocolate question. Mm-hmm. Are milk duds chocolate? Yes. Yes, they are covered in chocolate. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh yep. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> now <laughs> What kind of chocolate would you give to someone if you really didn't like them? Like, you know, you have that one kid, freaking Billy's coming down. No, you have Karen coming down the street and you're just like, oh, man, I can't stand Karen. So you keep one of these kind of candies when she comes up for trick or treat. I'm giving her an Almond Joy just to screw her over. (laughs) Almond Joys are the best. Um, I'm probably going to say a York Peppermint Patty. God oh, damn. that's mean. That's like you're brushing your teeth God and damn. then you accidentally drink some chocolate milk or something. Uh, so both of those were were amazing. 
you know, I was <laughs> like, as soon as Phil said his, I was like, oh yeah, let me just piggyback off that. And then Jake said, uh, you know, York peppermint patty. So I was like, shoot, I should pep, I should, I should pick that one too. Uh, <laughs> which one's worse? I feel like the. I feel like I actually know people who like um, York peppermint patties, though. You know the whole. Just for the record, I enjoy almond joys. I like them. I I go out of my way to get one. You also are on the record saying you like Kingler, so we just throw everything you say out. So <laughs> so do you just like go and try and promote Samoas as like the number one Girl Scout cookie too, or like what's up? I actually really like Samoas also. I, I like know. Coconut, I know you do, Jake. You want to know why I, think... I know that? Because it's fucking disgusting coconut, and I did not swear. Ooh, Noah, the first one getting the strike on the show. <laughs> I, I did not. <laughs> actually, I had one earlier. It just got covered up by someone else. Uh, <sighs> we're going to bleep that one out, and we're cutting out this whole thing. And Girl Scout cookies. My name is Can Noah Rademacher, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go with Almond Joys as the one I would give to my worst enemy. All right, so next we got up. Do you have a value system for chocolates? So Pick me. All right, so to be clear for listeners, when I say value system, I mean, when I was a little kid, I had four brothers, so we would go and we would trade all the candies at the end of the night. But Reese's was always the one that everyone wanted. Everyone, you know, one Reese's was two Snickers bars or something like that. So, Jake, you seemed excited. What do you, What would you do as your value system? Oh, I had a, not, I had a chocolate question again, a chocolate oh. check. Well, that's awkward now. Okay, what it? was your question? Do we consider Tootsie Rolls chocolate? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Jake, do you know what chocolate Wait. is? Do you know what like, a chocolate are... candy is all? I don't consider a Tootsie Roll chocolate. He it's also like... consider Almond Joys good and Kingler the best Pokemon. So, <laughs> <laughs> Jake, Tootsie Rolls are made of chocolate. It's just like... No, they're like chocolate Starburst. Exactly. Chocolate! <laughs> chocolate! <laughs> But that doesn't make it actual chocolate. All right. I wish we had a mute button so we could put Jake in five minute timeout. Noah, what do you have a value system for chocolate? Like if you're trading with someone, you know, you can't give this up. <laughs> so I would go trick or treating with Jake because I can tr like trade him all my shit candy and then I can get all the good candy from him because clearly he doesn't even know what chocolate is. <laughs> Okay, uh, we we can unmute Jake now. <laughs> Jake, what were you saying? I didn't say anything. Nothing oh, okay. at all. All right, whatever. All right, so now how about this? You have any preference between milk dark and white chocolates? Me, I, I like me the milk chocolate. It's I, I heard it's like the least healthy for you and terrible, but it just tastes way better. Well, okay, going off that, like, can we say like? There's this feud uh, with American chocolate versus European chocolate. Like, so Europeans drink eat the dark chocolate. That would lean towards dark chocolate, and I don't know where I'm going with this. So no I enjoy milk chocolate. No problem. <laughs> Noah, how about you? <laughs> um, I like dark chocolate, and I like white chocolate. Um, you know, probably if there was a or brown chocolate, I would like that too. Uh, you know, I just let my taste buds lead the way. Uh, I don't, I don't judge a book by its cover. You know. <laughs> now, I just for the record, I'm not going to turn away white chocolate or dark chocolate. I will still eat them. I it's actually not will the turn preference. away dark chocolate with nuts for whatever reason. That combination doesn't taste good in my mouth. <laughs> Is that a sex joke? <laughs> <laughs> it actually wasn't, but it worked out really well. All right. Can you so, give a specific example, please? <laughs> yes. Moving on. Best filling for chocolate. <laughs> so I personally love, you know, chocolate covered caramels or caramels. I'm sorry. Uh, they're just so much better. I hate when I have like the mixed variety chocolate box or something and I reach in and there's all this other garbage and it comes out terrible. I always eat like five of them, though, until I get to that caramel chocolate. Noah, how do you feel? So, I mean, we can kind of look at the most popular chocolate candy out there and realize, okay, peanut butter is probably up there. Uh, yeah. so, some people are even into peanut M&Ms for some odd reason, uh, you know, instead of the peanut butter ones. Uh, but then also the caramels, of course. 
you know, mm-hmm. it's it's a great filling for chocolate. Yep. Jake? Um, I do like the peanut butter. Um, I like nougat. Okay. I like some nougat with mine. Or however you want to pronounce it. Nuggets. <laughs> you like chocolate-covered nuggets. Nougat? Like, what? what what's okay. another pronunciation for it? <laughs> How do you guys feel about chocolate-covered fruit? I feel like... If I want to eat fruit, I'm being punished, or I'm trying to eat healthy, so I don't want chocolate with it. I mean, so you don't want a chocolate covered strawberry. I do not. That is oh, not good. I'm Why don't s- just eat like some strawberries and wash you. it down? I'm sad for you. Would you eat a chocolate covered celery bar? Celery I would give stick? it a shot. That's I would a try vegetable. It. That's not a fruit. No, well, that's bush league. <laughs> um, but yeah, see, you're covering chocolate with something that isn't good. <laughs> so, so what's the other point? way around? But yeah, do you, do you legitimately not like enjoy chocolate covered chocolate covered strawberries or like bananas? Nope, uh, I will not eat. I can I can fruits. do strawberries, and that's it. Now, something I have heard of, I'd want to try is a banana boat. And it's like you take a banana, cut it in half, stuff it with like chocolate and marshmallow, and then wrap it in foil and throw it in a fire. So it's like, oh my god, that sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? So I've never had it, but for how I long? Need, by the way, uh, uh, one minute either side, and then you have to have it rotisserie style for a little. I don't know. Okay. I've never done okay. it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we're we're, uh, we're yeah. really throwing a tease out there. Only give them half the ref- recipe, you know. Okay, here here's my what is your favorite like chocolate added dessert? Like I'm gonna say s'mores is mine. I really enjoy a good s'more. Uh, but chocolate's a there. portion of that. So Sarah and I, the first time we went on a date together, we went to the place because they had a s'mores dessert and it was fantastic. So I'm on your we're my wife and I are both on your train. We're we're eating s'mores as much as we can. Uh yep. so I'll put chocolate into milk to make it better (laughs) (laughs) what was it we were playing uh fibbage last night and we said the the goat had chocolate stuffed in it or something (laughs) sounds about right yeah by the way we're plugging our streams right now check me (laughs) out on mixer at burnsy j82 we play games most saturday nights and we will probably be on there more frequently due to this wonderful quarantine that is going on. By the way, stay safe. Lock your doors and stay inside. Uh, last question I have, by the way. So, blizzards and McFlurries are a thing. What's the best mix-in for a blizzard or McFlurry? I am guess it has to be chocolate. I personally love the Heath Bar mix-in because I like the extra little bit, of, little bit of crunch on it. So, Jake, what are you thinking? Uh, the Heath bar does very much come to mind. Um, is cookie dough technically a mixing? Yes. Like, yes, cookie dough is. Broken up. I rolled the cookie dough. It's chocolate chip cookie dough, so it fits in this episode, yep. right? Yes. Yep, nailed it. Yep. <laughs> All right, so again, yes, chocolate chip cookie dough is the number one flavor in the world, for sure. Uh, you know, you get the chocolate morsels and you get bits of cookie dough in there which I think actually have some chocolate in the bits of cookie dough too. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's the winner here. It's, it's, it's very double good. whammy of very deliciousness. Good. Very good. All right. So let's move on over now to our bracket debate. Uh, so today we're picking out the chocolate or the chocolate candy. We're picking out on the way home from the store. So we're heading home after a long day's work and you know, the temptation buys are sitting there on your way out. And you just go, man, I have to have this candy. So we're starting off with peanut M&M's versus a reason. Now, people may not know what a reason is. Mm-hmm. It's like super mm-hmm. chewy chocolate caramel mixed together. But it is not easy. Like, it, it, it has to melt for a little in your mouth. And it's very, it's hard. <laughs> so I didn't know what a reason was or how to say it properly. Uh, I looked it up. And it's uh, caramel and chocolate. And I don't really care what it is because peanut M&M's... Is that a Rolo? It, no, because a Rolo is like... You, you can bite through a Rolo. You can't bite through a Reason. It's like a, it's like a hard chocolate candy. 
Uh, okay. Yeah, but I'm still going to go with the reason or Ryzen, however you want to say it, because <laughs> if you want to eat peanuts, eat peanuts. If you want to eat chocolate, eat chocolate. Like, if, if it's peanut butter, whole different thing. But a peanut, just eat some peanuts. You know, if you're trying okay, to so pretend to be healthy, do, uh, just go do let's that. Let's do a quick detour. I'm sorry, I forgot about this topic. But M&M flavors, what's the best M&M flavor? Ignore regular chocolate and peanut. So, because those are in the bracket. Peanut but there butter. was pretzel. Pretzel is pretzel. the bomb. The peanut pretzel butter. was the best. I can't, Sarah and I are mad they got peanut rid of Peanut butter m and Peanut butter is phenomenal. What about the caramels? <laughs> it's peanut butter M&M's are the best. All right. Well, will, you, you lose that I'm one, too. one. Say we pick yeah, pretzels. are bad. Yeah. Oh, okay, so for peanut butter M&M's, they literally have Reese's Pieces, which are mini peanut butter M&M's. Reese's Pieces are kind of lame. We're going to get to Reese's Pieces later. Spoiler alert. All right, Jake, back to our bracket. Sorry for the detour. We got peanut M&M's and Reasons. Okay, I'm going to use my second swear of the night. Fuck Reasons. Uh, you don't get two swears. <laughs> I thought we were allowed three, and then you get put in timeout. <laughs> we put you in timeout after one, apparently. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, why do you hate reasons Regardless, so my, much? My point has been made um, because peanut <laughs> M&Ms are just the best chocolate out there. All right. So I'm sorry, Noah. Mm. I got to side with Jake on this one. Peanut M&Ms, like, it just... I, I, if, if I'm picking something up on the way home or something like that, I just want to pop it in my mouth and eat it real quick. A reason, that that's too much commitment. All right. So next up, we got Reese's versus Milky Ways. And I feel like this one's easy. Reese's all the way. Chocolate-covered peanut butter. Just phenomenal. I know Noah's been plugging it all show. Oh, it's so almost much. like peanut butter is a lot better than a peanut. <laughs> we'll get to that shortly, I'm betting. Uh, all right. I actually like Milky Way better than Reese's. Of course you do, Jake. Of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> Something that uh, makes did zero I spell sense. Reese's correctly. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Cool. All right. So next up, we got peanut M and M's versus Reese's. So I'm going Reese's again. This is chocolate covered peanut butter, as Noah said. Only one's crunchy peanut butter, and I go to my PB and J sandwich, and I'm never putting crunchy peanut butter on there. Long detour there. Sorry. Jake, what is your decision here? Um, I thought I said Milky Way. Oh, no. Peanut m and Believe it or not, you lost <laughs> twice. <laughs> uh, Reese's is going to go ahead and beat out peanut M&M's. I know. Plot twist. No one saw that one coming. Tangent? Yes. So, um, speaking of peanut... Uh, and cho- penis and chocolate. What about the baby Ruth bar? <laughs> Jake, I want you to listen to that when we ever publish this. But we know what you meant. <laughs> baby Ruths are good. But is that I, what I said? That's what <laughs> you'll hear it when you when you watch the show. You'll hear it. Uh, that was but, your third. Sw- you. Baby Ruths are good, but like that was your third people. swear, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> There was a lot of people I talked to. They didn't know what a baby Ruth was. And I'm like, I, I guess I can't put it on here. It's like caramel <laughs> and peanuts, right? Yeah. Is, is... No, it's chocolate covered. It's a chocolate covered payday. Oh, so pay, payday is caramel and peanuts, right? And then baby yeah, Ruth like is the chocolate covered butter. one. Yep. Okay, okay. Yep. All right. No, so let's move for, on. Just for a note, you're going to have to like uh, edit out something there roughly <laughs> about, you know, when we're talking about paydays. You'll hear it. Uh, <laughs> so now we got Hershey's versus Heath Bar. And when I put this together, Sarah made a great point. I am not a big fan of a full bar of Hershey's. However, on Halloween, when they give out just the three little chunks of Hershey's, I uh, really appreciate it a lot more because it's like I'm not overdoing. I'm just playing chocolate at that point. Then it's like I get my little hit and I can move on to some other like flavored th- item. Can I ask a question here? Yes. Yes. What are the availabilities of Heath bars anymore? Because they seem like an older chocolate. Like, I enjoy them. They won this for me. But, like, you don't really see them as advertised or as frequently available as a normal Hershey bar. They are available for blizzards at your nearest Dairy Queen. Okay. Hashtag so plug. I'd like to make an important point here. You guys both went on about how much you love s'mores earlier. And, Correct. Uh, when was the last time you used a Heath bar to make a s'more? 
That's an entirely different dessert, Noah. We cannot yeah, it, compare it, the it two. Does not, it does not fit in there. Like I said, I love blizzards, too. And I use Heath bars in there, not Hershey's. So, bleh. Boo on you, sir. So you guys are both going to pick Heath bars over a Hershey's milk chocolate, dark chocolate. Hershey's is if like I, a whole brand of chocolate. If we're doing a full bar, then I want the Heath bar so I get a little extra flavor into it. I can't eat a full Hershey's. Now, if we're talking bite size, yeah, I'd do a Hershey's bar. So are these full size or small? Uh, I'm going question. I'm going talking full fun size or the, the good candy? So I'm going full size because the bracket, the way I laid it out, was you're on your way home from the store, the, the uh, temptation section, which is the So you're a full-blown adult and you're buying yourself the big I'm one? A full size right? candy bar. I, I tend said to I'm buying toward... a full-size candy bar. Okay, okay. I tend to lean towards the fun size. I, the fun sizes are better in terms of ratios of chocolate to filling, but in this situation, we are buying on the way out of the store, it's a full-size candy bar. All right. So, I got Heath Bar. Uh, I'm going to go with Heath Bar as well. Uh, my good friend from high school's name is Heath, and uh, he's really good at doodling, so I'm just going to go with that one. All right, well, it's not going to matter shortly. You'll see why. So we got Twix versus regular M&Ms here. And Twix is just one of the best candies. So caramel, crunch, chocolate. Oh, yeah. Okay, Jake, if you said anything but that, like, you're just going to have to go at this point. (laughs) So Noah and Jake, you guys both on the Twix train? Yeah. And Noah already did the smart move. Twix is in the finals for yeah. this bracket. All, All right. right. Give me a second. Reese's versus I am Twix. out of bourbon, and I need more bourbon. You go. Noah and I will handle the monologuing. So we got Reese's versus Twix. Now, this is actually a, this is, this is a tough one. It's, from, it's really still not that tough, though. Yeah, I know. So I was going to say it's tough from this sense. Reese's is definitely the more popular, I think. But Twix is just better. I'm buying. I'm buying a Twix bar, but I feel like more people would like to buy a Reese's. Like on a public bracket, this would go Reese's, not Twix. So I like there's there's bowls of candy at my work because I work with older people, and they're like, I'm gonna have a bowl of candy on my desk, so random people will come in and talk to me instead of like do do work or something like that. You know, I don't know. I don't know exactly why. Uh, I don't eat any candy, but if there's a Twix there, I will grab all of them. You know, I'll just go ahead and grab all of them and be like, oh, well, I mean, if if you didn't want me to grab all of them, they wouldn't be there, you know? Um, uh, so, and then I will so, eat them because they're really good. Um, I just, it, they're, they're really good. Exact same situation. We have like a donation thing um, and it's like they have different little candies or bags of chips. So like little snack area and then you can buy them and it like donates to some fund, right? Well, w- when it's Twix and the Snickers that they put in there, the bite-sized ones, I buy them all. I can't help it. It's not great, and I feel bad about myself, but you can't just leave a piece of candy on the table. Daddy's going to take it. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I don't even know what we're talking about. Twix right. versus Reese's, Jake. What are you thinking? Twix. Twix. The, right, that now, was the gist of our our conversations yeah. as well. Now, real quick, before we I go to the other side of the bracket, are you guys a left Twix guy or a right Twix guy? Uh, I eat them both. <laughs> Do you like it cloaked <laughs> in chocolate or whatever the other? I make is? Like, I make myself into a little walrus. <laughs> uh, all right, so moving on to the top right corner of the bracket. We're going to have Take Fives versus Rolos. Now, Rolos are something I absolutely love, and it's because of the picture you see if you're on YouTube. That is uh, Scrubs, and the guy, the doctor's in there because he bought some Rolos, but they didn't fall out. And he just yells, if I paid for my Rolos, I'm getting my Rolos. But Take Five is my favorite candy bar, so unfortunately, Rolos can't go on. So this is unfortunate for me because I do enjoy both. Um... I mean, it just depends on the mood. I do enjoy the chocolate with the salty of the pretzel in the take five, so that's what I'm going to go with. And then you get some peanut butter, too. It's 
it's fantastic. So I don't really like I've heard of both of these definitely for sure. Um, but yeah, I, I just don't really care about either of them. No, I've had bags of take fives when we lived together. But did I eat them? <laughs> I assumed so. We had a lot of traffic going through our room. I, I don't think I touched your take fives, dude. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess me and Jake got take wrong. five. Moved on. By the way, this bracket was built by Sarah, so you can blame her when you have two things you like matched up against each other and two things you don't like matched up against each other. Uh, so okay. now, we, okay, we tend to blame her anyways. Yeah. Uh, so now we got Reese's Pieces versus Sorry. Kit Kats. Give me a break. Give me a break. Break me also. <laughs> 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 uh, no. So, uh, Kit Kats are amazing. You want to know why? Because the inside of Kit Kats are made up of leftover Kit Kats, like, like <laughs> Kit Kats that didn't, like they they didn't qualify as good enough quality, so they just got turned into the inside of future Kit Kats. It's amazing. Is that real? Yes, <laughs> that's a real oh thing. <laughs> that's fantastic. All right, so I'm gonna go Reese's Pieces. For this sense, this sense only. There's like a million of them in the package, so when I eat them, I feel like I'm eating more, even though I know I'm not. Jake, you're the tiebreaker. Reese's Pieces versus Kit Kat. Kit Kats. My grandma always used, always used to give me Kit Kats growing up, and Kit Kats are where it's at. All right. Agreed. So now we got take we got take fives versus Kit Kats. So I'm going take fives. Mentioned it before. Just the best candy. Chocolate, peanut butter, pretzel. I think there's other good things in there. I only named four. There's a fifth one. I can't when remember. When you eat a Kit Kat, fantastic. you're eating like whole generations of Kit Kat. <laughs> you act like that's a problem. No, no he, it's he, amazing. That's, his plug. that's how he's selling it to us right now. <laughs> When you eat the right. inside of the Kit eating your babies. When you eat the yeah, inside of a Kit Kat bar, you're eating the outside of a past Kit Kat bar and the inside at the same time. It's like it's so paradoxical, man. It's lovely. Noah is often high when he eats Kit Kats. Jake <laughs> <laughs> What is your preference here? Dude, you're putting me in a tough spot. So, let me preface this by Kit Kat's more readily available for me growing up. Take fives weren't around the house much. Because take fives um, didn't exist until you were already like a teenager or so. Well, and I really appreciate the take five for what it is. Like, I, I truly do. But let me say this. Freeze a Kit Kat and then enjoy it with a cup of coffee. It is the most amazing thing in the world. I know it sounds weird. But just, it doesn't. I did. We'll, we'll, we'll get to the candy that I dip into coffee later. But uh, so I guess we're going with. I'm Kit going Kit Kat. You guys, freaking bush league around here. I don't know what I'm gonna do. All right. So now we got bottom right corner. Bill, do you like not enjoy Kit Kat? So if you're handed one. No, I do. But I like take fives that much. Okay. Like if we were talking the value system, one take five would probably be at least three or four of any other candy. So. I got, I got a lot of weird. value there. It's weird. It is not weird. You just need to have one, then you'll get why it's so good. Uh, you have got this weird candy commerce system with your brothers. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Do you had a whole economy. Phil, you know what a Twix is, so I'm I'm kind of confused here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's... We'll, we'll, I wish we could have got to take five versus Twix. That, that was my original final battle, but... Ooh, ooh, but, but we... But it didn't get there. We didn't get there. Ooh. So, anyways. Oh, wait, Twix did, though. That's finger. crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Only because you never had a take five when I had them laying around the apartment. I've probably so, had dude. one. And you know what, if, Phil? I completely forgot about it. If you had one, you would you would be on my train, too. If they were that fun. great, I would have probably eaten all your take fives, Phil. But so, I didn't. So, Phil, are you, are you a big fan of the uh, pretzel with the little Hershey kiss melted on top? Oh, yeah. Wait, no, 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 no. If you're going to do those, you do the pretzel with a Rolo, and then you put an M&M on top of that. That's fantastic. Oh, my God. That sounds amazing. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Okay, uh, moving on. 
So we're sorry that we're going to give all of our listeners diabetes. We got Snickers versus Butterfinger. So Butterfinger is the uh, my coffee dipping candy bar. It's just oh. so hard otherwise. And when you dip it in, it softens it up and it tastes fantastic. With that now, said... Are you using a full-size Butterfinger? Are you freezing it before, or is it just like a normal... Just Red, regular Butterfinger. They're, they're hard enough as it is. You get a little chocolate on your finger, but you got to get over it. When you're eating chocolate, that's going to happen. I haven't tried that. That sounds, like, that sounds great, actually. It does. They changed the recipe for the Butterfinger recently, though. I don't know how that is. Why would uh, they do but that? Anyways, cause, I don't know. But we got Snickers. I'm picking Snickers. I'm hungry. And it's now Snickers organic satisfied. and GMO-free. Ew. Really? Okay, I'm oh, going to go no. back to Butterfinger. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I love my GMOs. Uh, but anyway, so I got Snickers. Noah, what are you doing? I'm going with Butterfingers because I like them better than Snickers. <laughs> Jake, what's up? Uh, Butterfinger. Love good Butterfinger. Are you guys kidding me? Like, I thought Snickers was like 1A and 1B with Twix. No, Snickers wow. kind of suck. Snickers are fantastic. I mean, the bite-sized ones are better, though, but... They always get stuck to the roof of my mouth. Like, You're uh, eating I like caramel, I like chocolate, I just don't like the peanuts in it. Um, you and, really hate nuts. And then Butterfingers, yeah, it's kind of the same issue. Like, there's all sorts of shit that's getting stuck everywhere, but... I don't know, they're, they're like, more... They're, they're less common. They're, like, the underdog here. <sighs> all right, well, this... All right, we gotta wrap this up, because I think I'm running out of recording room. Oh. No problem. All right, so here we go. This is the ugly corner anyway. Three Musketeers versus Crunchy Bar. I don't care for either of these, but I'll pick last. So, Jake, go. <laughs> uh, three Musketeers. Noah? I'm going with the Crunch Bar. It's good. Oh, what, whatever shit. that, um, I don't know, whatever they put in it, it's good. You know, It's rice. Right. Yeah, the rice, rice shit. Oh, okay, well, well, shucks. We're going the rice three shucks. Musketeers. <laughs> Three Musketeers is moving Ooh, on because God. Noah's wrong over here. He doesn't like peanuts, but the rice is the exact same concept. Rice is not peanuts. <laughs> it's the same concept. It's a crunch. It's really not. It's, it's so, so okay. different. Crunch They're bar, very different. Bad. But like when I want like popped rice, I want like a Rice Krispies treat. I don't need it covered in chocolate. Well, if you're not eating a Rice Krispie treat covered in chocolate, why are you eating the Rice Krispie treat? They still taste good. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jake. Wait, so you like we Rice Krispies covered in chocolate, but you don't like Crunch Bars? <laughs> I didn't say I didn't like Crunch Bars. No, no, I'm talking I to Phil. Talking to three Phil. Musketeers. All right. You read the Three Musketeers mint? Those I didn't say I don't like good. Crunch Bars. Three Musketeers are better. Anyways, Butterfingers versus Three Musketeers. This is Butterfinger, hands down. Butterfingers. There's no question. Ah. Oh. Gosh. You, I, I'm, I'm mad. I had Three Musketeers even going that far. Ah. Oh. Now we got Kit Kat versus Butterfinger. Do you feel so, disgusted with yourself? I feel mad that one of these two is making it to the finals when there's other good candies like Snickers sitting on the sidelines. Hi, and Stella. Take five and roll Stella. Oh. Take, or, well, take fives are still good. We're not denying that. Snickers is like old school. Like, I mean, that's been around for a while. We're moving past that. Yeah. We're, well, new we're moving past dog. everything. Yep. We're living in the now, and we're saying there's Kit Kat versus Butterfinger. And I pick Butterfinger. We're living in the time of COVID-19. Yeah. What the hell is that? Oh, sorry. That's my dog. I didn't think you'd be able to hear it, but it, you if, can. If only you would have just given her attention, Phil. But no, so you, pushed you pushed her away. You pushed her away. She heard something. Anyways, I got Butterfingers. Let's pick this up. Jake's request. Noah, what are you picking? Kit Kat. Uh, it turns yeah. out I have more recording room than I thought. We're good. <laughs> Jake, what are you picking? <laughs> uh, Butterfinger. Oof. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oof. Noah's favorite candy is getting knocked off Oof. left and right, but it doesn't matter because our number one candy as a group is Twix. <laughs> yeah, what do you Sorry mean my favorite candy? <laughs> you, you, you're the one plugging all these other candies, and they we just knocked them out. <laughs> Twix was going to yeah, win. The yeah. end. All right, so now we have to decide, left Twix or right Twix? <laughs> Uh, so well, what? It was, was cascaded. So it's cascaded versus cloaked. <laughs> cloaked. I enjoy Butterfingers more than Twix, just for the record. Uh, Jake, well, it's, it's cool. Two to one. We don't need matter. that on the record. It's fine. <laughs> Thanks. Wait, so uh, it's cascaded and cloaked. Cloaked yeah. in caramel. Yes, I think cloaked is left Twix. I could be wrong. 
Who still uses a cloak? Cloaked? God. Harry Potter does. Ooh, I should it's just, just really wear cloaked. a cloak to work. Let's look up when the last Harry Potter book was written. That was eons ago. He's still alive. He didn't All die right. in it. He's other like question. Other now. question. Is it eons or aeons? It'd be dead. It's eons. Aeons a company. Hey, Stella. There was <laughs> Aeon Flux, that bad movie. Uh, all right. By the way, Noah, scroll up so they can see our brand new logo. We spent a lot of time working on this because we wanted it to look like a smiley face. <laughs> That's a... Yeah, it's something. <laughs> hey, you said you liked it, I think. Katie said she liked it. She had my phone. Oh. And well, Jake, Jake, you said you it was liked good. It. You said it's good, and then Katie's and I said Katie said she liked it. So, Jake, you don't like it? If <laughs> muted, what? Uh, more, more importantly, <laughs> if Jake liked it, like I, I'd feel scared. Like I'd be like, oh crap, Kingler's our mascot now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that well, be, ladies what... and gentlemen, thank you for watching the Radicals podcast. You can find us on Twitter at uh, BernsyJ82, Radical Phil, and the Radicals podcast. We are available on Spotify and iTunes, along with any other potential podcast site. You can also support us on Patreon, and at the, a certain tier, you can get a signed paw print picture of Stella, our group mascot. Tune in next week for our next endeavor into the Bracket Challenge. And also, all donations will go towards updating Jake's thousand-year-old laptop so we don't have to cut off short. Ow, ow!